All right, welcome everyone. This is Dawn Duvall. I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I have been doing this craziness for 12 years. I live in Fort Myers, Florida, and I am coming to you pre-recorded as we are actually out of the country, and I didn't want you to go a week without having videos from me. So today we are going to work on a one sheet wonder and the first thing that we're going to do though is we are going to, now you can do this with pattern, uh, pattern paper if you'd like, but we're going to do our own pattern paper. So we're going to work with an eight and a half by 11 piece of uh, basic white cardstock and I am going to stamp my images to create my background and that's what I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do is show you that and then from there we'll move forward with the uh, cutting of our paper. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera down and we're going to go ahead and get started. Now I do have a piece of basic um, vellum cardstock right here that is just to keep the uh, light from glaring as you can see at the top uh, glaring from my area that you're going to be watching me do our thing so let me get this up there where I can let's see I think it's over hang on I gotta figure out where it's at there it is okay all right so I've got a eight and a half by eleven piece of um, basic white cardstock so I'm gonna pull in three colors of ink I'm going to use Blackberry Bliss, Berry Burst, and Lost Lagoon. And I'm going to also use the Layering Leaves Photopolymer stamp set that carried over from this past uh, catalog. I'm going to use, um, let's see, I think this one, I'm gonna use this stamp leaf, this one, this one, and those two there. I may throw some dots in there, it just depends. All right, so the whole idea of what we have to do when you're, when you're creating your own background paper, you wanna to try to do things in thirds, okay? So you wanna to try to keep them in thirds so that it just makes it look better. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my ink. Hopefully I don't mess this up. And I'm gonna turn them around so that I can use each one. I'm gonna start with my lightest, which is the Lost Lagoon. And then I'm gonna use my Berry Burst and then I will move on to the, um, Blackberry Bliss, okay? So I'm just gonna take, and it all depends on how you wanna do this. I'm gonna start with my leaf stamps. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my Lost Lagoon, and I'm just going to start stamping, and you want to stamp them in you know, clusters. And some of these you wanna stamp over, um, off the paper if you have the ability to do so, because you don't want everything like right on the edge. So you do wanna have some things hanging off the paper. So I am going to put a scrap down that um, I've previously used. I've got one little thing on here from last week's um, uh, class. So I'm going to go ahead and put that piece of basic, uh, that's some copy paper. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and ink up this one more time and then I'm just gonna start stamping this stamp set and I'm just gonna randomly stamp it um, I'm gonna put that one there. I'm gonna come in with each color because it's gonna be easier for me to randomly do this. So I'm gonna put this one here and then we're gonna come back and I've got a, two smaller ones. And I'm gonna play with this because I haven't done this yet. So uh, this is gonna be just something we're gonna be doing. I've got two of these small flowers. So I'm gonna stamp both of those in the Blackberry Bliss. So I'm just gonna come in and stamp accordingly. And then I do have a leaf that I will add at the end when, just to fill in some spaces. So again, I'm just gonna come in and just stamp um, the different stamps that I have and just try to keep them somewhat aligned. And we'll put one there and then we're gonna put one, gotta get the ink on it, and we'll put one right in here because we wanna kinda keep our threes. Now these again, I've got, go, I've got too many on the end, on the side, right? So we wanna start moving these around. I'm gonna come up here to this corner. This one I'm gonna stamp down here, off the page some, because this is where I wanna put some of these other ones up here so it doesn't look like we forgot about those guys, right? And I just stuck my finger in the ink. Make sure I don't get that on my dress. All right, and I'm gonna push this one down there. We'll come back with our leaf and start uh, filling in. Now, again, I'm gonna come back 
with this one I'm going to start going off the page now you can see where I just got ink on the paper from my fingernail getting stuck in there but we'll we'll hopefully cover that up and again we're just going to randomly stamp and try to do our groups of three and if we don't use all of these stamps that's okay we don't need to do that so I'm just gonna probably just use one of these and not two all right so again I'm just gonna come back I'm gonna have some off the page and I'm gonna put uh, one like that and I think I'll take one of these I'm gonna stamp off because I think that's a uh, pretty dark so I'm just gonna stamp off to give it a little bit lighter shade then I'm gonna come back and just continue to do this so I'm gonna come over on this side now because I want to fill in this area before I move forward and we'll come back with our Lost Lagoon so you get the idea of what we're trying to do right and I give, again I'm gonna stamp off because that um, Blackberry is quite quite dark and I'm gonna wipe this off for just one minute all right and then we're just gonna continue on with our creations so now we're going to move around so I'm going to put this here and then I'm going to put some of these up through here and add another we'll add this one here all right so you can see what we're doing of course we've got some open areas but we're going to go ahead and work on getting those uh, taken care of I think this one we're going to have it coming in this way which is always nice right and we'll have one of these down here have them go in a different direction I think we'll use this one uh, let's see I think that's one that we just used let me just do the other little stamp let's stamp that guy right here and then I think I'm gonna come back and stamp him again so that's a toot that stamped off all right now we got a lot of the um, uh, berry burst so I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna stamp a green one and you can see how we're rotating right so again, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to stamp this one this way. And then we're going to come back and do the, I'm going to get my paper um, off a little bit. So let's put this one, um, we got too many that are close to each other. I think I'm going to do this one here. And then I'm going to come back with this guy and we're going to stamp him right in this area and then I'm gonna come back with these two um, little uh, stamps and again I'm gonna stamp off and I'm gonna do that for both of these so I'm gonna stamp this one here and then I'm gonna come back here and stamp that one so that was kind of uh, we'll probably use that and the other leaf to fill in when we get to the areas that we need some filling in all right so we're gonna come back and you can see how we're doing this right so you just want to make sure that you're going through and uh, leaving room so that you can um, add and fill in the blank uh, fill in the areas so again this one I want my uh, berry burst to go here because again we want to try to keep it even and I have some um, gaps up in here so we'll go back and fill those in now I want to come back and I'm gonna put some green I'm gonna take this one and go off the edge some and then we'll come back let's do our little one so we're gonna place this one right here and then I'm gonna stamp off and put him down here I'm gonna move these out of the way and then I'm gonna bring this one in these are the two little uh, the smaller stamps and I'm going to put this one maybe right here and then we'll stamp off right there and then I'm gonna come in with my um, berry burst and I'm gonna flip this one a little bit this way whoops I got green on that one not sure how I did that oh you know what I just did I think I used my bear <laughs> I just used my lost lagoon in the berry burst let me clean that off at least it was dark enough you didn't see it and I kept thinking why do I have this ink on here so be careful when you have them all lined up like this it's, you get a little <laughs> you can get a little confused all right so we're gonna come back now we've got those so we definitely want some uh, lost lagoon in here and you know what we'll do I think we're gonna take this is gonna be a good one we're gonna put this here now I'm gonna come back with these guys I'm gonna clear clean these off the smaller ones and we're gonna come back and use a different color because that will allow us to fill in some of those um, areas okay so let's take that I've got those hopefully cleaned off so let's come in and we'll do some lost lagoon uh, let's do some there 
yeah, that's going to be nice. So we can um, kind of fill in, put some little guys right there. And then we'll do another one and so we'll do a little bit of the berry burst. So we're going to just prop that one there. We'll stamp off right there. All right. Ooh, isn't that pretty? All right. And then we're going to come back down here and start uh, redoing some more of the uh, inks that we need to add. So let's go ahead and we're going to stamp this one off. And I'm going to do another one right about, uh, let's see, let's do one here. And then we're going to do, I'm going to keep wanting to put it in the other um, ink pad. All right, let's come back with some of that Lost Lagoon because we want to fill in here where we've got some open area. And then let's come back with our little smaller stamps and we're going to do actually let's go back to our blackberry since we don't have that much right here so let's do a blackberry and we will stamp that one here and then we'll do one right here and okay now so now we're going to come back with our leaf and that leaf i'm going to bring in let me move all my stamps out of the way so now we want to bring in the leaf that I have, and we're going to use that one in all the different colors just to fill in the areas. Um, I think we did pretty good down here. We can do a little bit off on the edges here, and then of course at the top. So up here, I feel like we need some of the blackberries. So I'm going to stamp that. I'm going to um, ink it up, and I'm going to lightly have him come off. Now I'm going to stamp him again. So I'm going to put him over in this area because it's lighter so we've got that and let's see if we can do one more that is going to be let's put one right here i'm just going to try to fill in. i don't want to fill in all of the areas but i do want to get a little bit different colors added so here i'm going to put some lost lagoon and again i'm going to take it where it's going to go off the paper all right and then we'll do See, I think we're looking good here. I think we look good here. We, I'm gonna put another color right there. We probably could do one right here. Let me get my paper so I can stamp off. Let's just do the edge of a leaf there. And we'll do one, uh, let's see. I think that's good. I don't think we need anything else. Let's do, I'm looking here. I think we're good. We've got that, let's do another one. Let me clean this one. I'm gonna do one more in the uh, Blackberry Bliss, and I am going to stamp that one full strength, because I want something, I don't know, maybe I've got, I think I've got it good. What do y'all think? Let's see, I'm just trying to make the edges. Let's do one here. And then I'm gonna come back and do a lighter shade. I think I'm gonna do one right here. Okay, I think that's good. So we're gonna leave it at that, right? Less is more, so let's leave it that like that. So now we have, and I do think we need something here, but I'm gonna let that go. All right, so we're just gonna let that go, and then we're gonna go on to our cutting uh, directions. So we'll do that. Let me just close up these ink pads. I'm already wearing half the ink anyways. Okay, so now we're gonna come in with our template. And our template is gonna show us how we're gonna cut our paper. So our first cut, we're gonna start at, um, this is gonna be the eight and a half by um, 11, correct? So we wanna cut a, um, we wanna start at the top of the paper and we're gonna do a four inch mark and we're gonna cut this at four inches and then we're gonna move over and cut this one side here, okay? So let me bring in the paper trimmer. And we are going to place our paper in here. All right, so we're gonna cut it four inches. This is the eight at, and half at the top and 11 is going this way. So we're gonna cut at four inches here, okay? All right, so we're gonna set this one off to the side. Now this one, we're gonna turn it and we're going to cut um, a four inch square off the end of the card. So we're gonna do a four inch, so let's cut four inches. Let's do that at the bottom. So let's turn this around. It really doesn't matter. We're gonna cut four inches off. So we're gonna have a four by four square, okay? 
All right, so there's our four by four square. And then we're gonna cut um, one and three quarters inch by four, right? So it's already four, so we're gonna cut one and three quarters. And then that should leave us a four by five and a quarter. So we have five and there's our five and a quarter right there. So there's our first three cuts that we've done with our paper. So I'm gonna set that right here onto the side. All right, and then the next thing, we're gonna take this next piece, which is four and a half inches, right? Um, I'm sorry, yeah, four and a half inches. So on this one, we are now going to cut uh, four and a half inches off one end. So we're gonna do four, so this is already four inches, right? And let's see, I'm reading my instructions, so give me just a minute. Take the larger half of the original piece cut, so we're gonna make this at four and a half. So we're gonna we'll line it up right there, and we're gonna cut that. All right, so we've got our four and a half piece. I'm gonna set that right here. Get, make sure I'm in the camera so y'all can see. All right, so we've cut our four and a half piece off. Now we're gonna take the four and a half piece that I just cut off, and we're going to cut this at a di diagonal in half. So you wanna line up your corners into your cutting track. So we've got one here and we've got one right there. So we're gonna lay this down and we're gonna come in. Now I'm gonna lift my scoring blade, I mean my cutting blade up just a little and I'm gonna start on the inside and I'm gonna push out and then come back down, okay? All right, so now I have my two pieces that I've cut in half. So we're gonna set that right there and we did that at a diagonal. And then we're gonna take, let's see, we need a four and a half by, let's see, this is four and a half. So we want four and a half by three and a half. We're gonna do this first. So we know we need four and a half by three and a half, right? So we're gonna cut that. So we've got our four and a half by three and a half. We're gonna set that there. And then this piece, we are going to cut, oh, I know, we need to take one of the triangles and cut that. So this piece we're gonna cut, this should be three inches, right? Which it is. So we're gonna cut these at one and a half each. Uh, we're gonna move this over to one and a half and we're gonna cut three times. So there's one, bring it over to one and a half. And we're gonna move that there. All right, and then this. So there's our three one and a halves by three. And then we're gonna take one of these triangles, right? So we have the two pieces. And if you look at our template, we're gonna cut one of those in half, okay? So right here, we've got our uh, square, and then we're gonna, we've cut it at a diagonal, so we're gonna take one of the diagonals, doesn't matter which one, and we're gonna cut this in half. So we've got our diagonal like this. So I'm just gonna line up that track in the track, and let's get it up at the top. We're gonna make sure that it's level, it is. So we'll go ahead and cut this down, and that's gonna give us two smaller triangles. Okay, so now we have two smaller triangles. So we should have 10 pieces, right? So we've got one, two, three, and then the three pieces is six. There's seven, eight, nine, and 10 pieces. All right, okay, so now I will make our cards, and give me a moment, I'll be right back. All right, everyone, I am back with the cards and let's uh, get started with my samples. So here is the template. Now this will, um, I will have a link in Facebook as well as on YouTube to a Google Drive where you can download this because it does have the cutting dimensions and then gives you the information off to the right hand side. So if you recall, we cut our first one at four inches and then we cut that particular piece at four by five and a quarter. We did a four by one and three quarters and then we did a four by four. So let me show you those three cards and then we'll move on to the next side. So this is the four by five and a quarter. Now I did these all on um, thick basic white cardstock. So this piece is on just basic white and it's stamped uh, and that's cut at the four and a quarter. So I use the uh, Layering Leaves stamp set, which I mentioned before. And then I uh, used um, Lost Lagoon 
uh, Berry Burst and then Blackberry um, Bliss for my colors. And then I did tie some twine. So here is the first card, and all of these are cut at eight and a half by five and a half, and then scored at four and a quarter, okay? So this is the first one I did. Now you can use any sentiment stamp that you want. You can decorate it. So the whole idea is for you to create your background paper. So whatever paper, whatever um, stamp sets that you have that will make a good background, then stamp in whatever colors. You wanna probably use at least three different colors just to give it um, something, you know, so it's not all plain Jane. And then just pick whatever sentiments you want to use, okay? All right, so there's that card. And then the next one is the, we cut our um, paper at four by one and three quarters. So this is the four inches by one and three quarters, very burst. I did use a die from the floral, floral, it carried over from last year. Of course, I don't have the name right in front of me. I'll put it, you'll, it'll be in the, it'll be in the, um, the directions. But I did cut out uh, some of these leaves in uh, Lost Lagoon uh, Berry Burst. So this one is in Lost Lagoon. I stamped it in Lost Lagoon and then just tied some ribbon or some twine underneath and popped that up on dimensionals. So there's the one and three quarters. And then we had our four by four square. So that one, I just turned my card where it opens this way. So this is my four and by four square. And then I put a piece of Lost Lagoon, which is one and a half inches by four. And again, I put some flower, uh, some leaves here, tied some ribbon, uh, stamped my sentiment, just cut at an angle, just something different so it's not the same old, same old, okay? So again, see how pretty that looks with when you create your own background. All right, and then the next one, we um, cut the paper, if you recall, uh, three square uh, rectangles, one and a half by three inches, and then we did a four and a half by three and a half, and then the last one is the four by four, I'm sorry, it was uh, whatever that last piece was. We cut that uh, at a diagonal in half and then took one of those triangles and cut that in half, all right? So let me show you what I created with those. All right, so here is the three one and a halfs by three. And I used a piece of uh, Berry Burst underneath. And what I did was I had a little bit of the white uh, where I stamped my images hanging over the edges. I thought that looked kind of, kind of unique. And then I... Um, punched out, not punched out, I die cut some of these little flower things and I just kind of laid those around. I, I did the three colors just to try to pull it all together and then used the uh, wishing you the happiest birthdays for my sentiment and I just cut those in a banner shape. All right, so there's that card. And then the next one we cut was, whoops, uh, four and a half by three and a half. And then I layered that, and all of, again, all these dimensions will be on the tutorial that you can download. I um, die cut this little uh, leafy thing, did some twine, and again, stamped happy birthday, cut that at an angle. So, you know, whatever, and it, uh, everything I've left inside. So it's whatever that you have on hand, just use what you have. All right, and then the next piece, this is that large, um, the triangle that we cut, that was the first one. And so I just took a piece of Lost Lagoon and I laid this on top and gave it a, a little bit of extra, had it hanging over. And then I just uh, drew a pencil line and cut around it to give me the shape of my uh, triangle. And then I just kind of cut this piece from a scrap and attached it to the edge of the card. And again, put some twine there and stamped uh, wishing you a happy birthday. Isn't that cute? I just love the way this turned out. And then the last one are those two triangles that we had that we cut in half, right? So I popped these up on dimensionals. I did put a piece of the um, berry burst underneath and stamped my sentiment in uh, Lost Lagoon, put one of those little um, plant, uh, little twiggy things and tied some uh, baker's twine or twine. And then all of my insides are left blank so that when I'm ready to send them out, um, I can then write my messages in them. So I'm going to stack these up here so that you can see uh, the cards. And again, these will be on the tutorial as well that you'll be able to download. I'll have it in a Google Drive with a link and you can uh, download that and then use the template and create your own cards. Now, if you do create cards using this, please make sure that you share, whether you're on Facebook 
or uh, YouTube. That would be awesome. I'd, we'd love to see what everybody comes up with because we get different ideas. So I hope you found this um, interesting. Now, the items that we cut did make, uh, if we used them individually, we could have had 10 cards. But since we put them together, we got seven cards out of that template. So that's seven cards. That probably took maybe an hour and a half. I think the longest time was for me trying to figure out which um, sentiments I wanted to, to use. So if you plan that all in advance, it shouldn't take, you know, but an hour and a half or so to, to get it cut and get your cards made. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, video. Enjoy the rest of your week and your weekend, and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to make sure you share the video with your uh, friends, family, and crafty friends. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe and click that bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. All right, again, I'm Dawn Duvall with Shall We Stamp, and have a great evening. Thanks, everyone.